Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to explain the reshape function in NumPy in just a few minutes. The reshape function, it changes the shape of an array without altering its underlying data. When you call the reshape function, you pass in the number of rows and the number of columns that you want. Here's a demonstration. After importing NumPy, we'll create a NumPy array. We'll name this array just array. Array equals a NumPy array. This will be a one-dimensional array. Let's list the numbers 1 through 12. Now, if I was to print the shape of my array, array.shape, we have a one-dimensional array with 12 elements. The reshape function, it doesn't reshape in place. It's going to return an array, which we'll reassign to array. Array equals access our original array, call the reshape function, then pass in the number of rows and columns that we want to reshape this array into. Let's say two rows, six columns. Be sure that you have a matching number of elements. Two times six, that's 12. We have 12 elements, so that works. Our new array has two rows, six columns. And if I were to print it, print my array. It looks something like this. We have two rows, one, two, six columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try a three by four. Three rows, four columns. We have three rows, one, two, three, four columns. One, two, three, four. Now, if I try to reshape this into a four by four, four rows, four columns, we would need 16 elements, but we only have 12. This would result in a value error cannot reshape array of size 12 into shape 4x4. Four four. We would need 16 elements. But a 4x3 would work. 4 rows, 3 columns, that's 12. 4 rows, 3 columns. If we try to reshape our array into something too small, for example, 4 rows, 2 columns, that would be 8 elements, but we have 12. Value error again. Cannot reshape array of size 12 into a 4x2. But if we had eight elements to work with, well then, that would work. A six by two would work. Six rows, two columns. That's 12 elements still. You can also reshape your array into a three-dimensional array. You would add one more argument for layers, the number of layers. So now we're reshaping this into a three-dimensional array. Let's say we would like two layers, two rows, three columns. There we go. Two layers, two rows, three columns. Or we could do three layers, two rows, two columns. That's still 12. The number of elements still matches. We have 12. Three layers, two rows, two columns. Now, a really useful trick is to set one of the dimensions to be negative one. NumPy will automatically infer the correct size for that dimension based on the number of columns that we set. Let's set the number of columns to be one. So this is the array that NumPy is going to spit out. We have 12 rows, one column. By setting one of the dimensions to be negative one, NumPy will calculate that for us. Or I could set the number of rows to be one, the number of columns to be negative one. If I want one row, NumPy will handle the rest. That would give me a two-dimensional array with one row, 12 columns. You often see the reshape method used with negative one pretty often in machine learning libraries like scikit-learn. All right, everybody, so that is the reshape function using NumPy.